Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we're going to have In Excess back on the channel. This is going to be the second time I've reacted to them. I went back and checked the data the first time I reacted to them, which was elegantly wasted. And it has been almost two years since I've checked them out. Can't believe it's been that long, man. Um, I can't believe I've been reacting that long now too. So uh, this is not a request. It's a mic pick. The reason this one came into my orbit is uh, I was recently on a quick vacation to Atlanta with a friend and um, we were leaving a space themed bar that was really cool uh, not that you need to know that but um, we were leaving the bar and we, we had it set to the local rock station there which was I think 100.5 which is way cooler than the stations here in Houston they play a lot of older stuff uh, and not just newer stuff you know like uh, 94.5 in Houston tends to do uh, most of the time so anyway, uh, we get in the car leaving and this song comes on. Uh, it was already almost over, but I liked what I heard and I put some of the lyrics that I heard from the song into Google and found out who it was and what the song was. So here, here we are, In Excess, Don't Change. Um, this is an official video, so I'm sorry in advance if it gets blocked for visual content, if I have to do any editing on the little videos box. So yeah, from what I heard, the little bit that I heard, this song sounded great. I couldn't believe it was them, actually. I didn't. It didn't sound like the few In Excess songs I heard growing up, you know? And I'm not super familiar with their catalog. Uh, I, I never actively listened to them, only the songs that I heard uh, on the radio. So, uh, yeah, eager to hear what this is like. Uh, in full, I should say. So, I did look at the uh, lyrics, and by the way, this is from the album Shabu Shuba, uh, from the year I was born, 1982. So, um... I, you know, I wasn't fully sure what to make of the lyrics. Um, obviously, I mean, Don't Change is the title of the song, and he kind of mentions that throughout. So um, I kind of caught that as a theme. But some of the other things I just couldn't catch. I'm standing here on the ground. The sky above won't fall down. See no evil in all directions. Resolution of happiness. Things have been dark for too long. So I did look at this uh, a little bit from songfacts.com here. I'm just going to read parts of this. So, um, uh, Michael and keyboard player Andrew Ferris created this song in 1982. Uh, song has a defiant feel with Hutchins warding off negativity. Uh, let's see. The keyboardist Andrew Ferris offered this explanation of the song. Everything changes, or does it? Nothing lasts forever, and yet most of us at some point in our lives want it to. So, even with that, it's cryptic, and I... I after I read that sentence, I had to sit there for a couple seconds thinking about it, and I still am not quite sure what exactly this song is about. Um, however, I did see another part down here that says um, the song came out when In Excess were making a rise uh, in fame, gaining a lot of ground with fans, becoming very popular in Australia, and getting noticed in other parts of the world. Um, it kind of like it finds similarities in their career path with U2, who at the time was also starting to explode, and um, kind of mentions that um, they they you know both of them handled being famous in a different way, and you know having a lot of criticism, a lot of fans, all that stuff, uh, and Bono getting through it. However, uh, Hutchins having a harder time, and I didn't realize this next part until. I saw some of the comments from the elegantly wasted reaction I did, but I didn't know that in 1997 he took his own life. So that's pretty sad stuff, man. Um, anyway, so yeah, this uh, according to the rest of this, it's a pretty popular song, um, but I somehow I missed this one. So anyway, uh, oh, one other cool thing. I saw, I'm not sure if this is still accurate today, but at the time that this was made, uh, this, uh, you know, this portion of the website here, it says this was the last song In Excess played live. They used it to close their set at Perth Arena on November 11, 2012, when they were opening up for Matchbox 20. Uh, lead singer Rob Thomas came on stage and joined them on the vocals. They also let the crowd know this was the last time, uh, this was going to be their last show. So, wow, that is pretty cool, man. Um, with all that being said, I'm eager to hear this one in full. The part of the song that I heard sounded great. So um, it's not going to be a complete 100% new song to me since I heard that part. But yeah, here we go. This is going to be In Excess, Don't Change.
1982, man. This is already more rocking than the In Excess songs I've heard. I like this sound from them. Okay, hold on. I'm just going to do a commentary stop here. The chorus just ended. Um, I absolutely love this song. I love the melodies in this. It sounds so great. Uh, well mixed for the time, but also compared to the, the hits that I heard on the radio when I was a kid, this is more... Well, it's more rocking, for one. And it's also a little bit more raw, which I, I love the sound of them being kind of more... Um, pure rock, pure rock music, uh, compared to some of the, you know, one of the ones I remember growing up, I Need You Tonight, that was pretty, uh, uh, poppy, and, uh, this is definitely more of a, uh, pure rock song, and it, it, the melodies in this sound great, it, it sounds hopeful, and just pure, I, you know, it, it, it sounds great, it just sounds so wholesome, and, uh, yeah, everything about this is great so far, the video, uh, definite 80s video, you know, keeping it simple, I see, with just uh, them playing, and uh, I wonder if we're going to see anything super 80s weird happening, but uh, absolutely loving this one so far. Okay, let's keep going. He did a sled, but I didn't hear any sled on the guitar. This is a beautiful song. Oh, that's cool. Baseline. said much, but I've just been enjoying this. 
Oh no! Don't leave the drummer! <laughs> okay, one crazy 80s thing happened. What a beautiful song, man. Excellent song. It feels uplifting, too. It sounds very wholesome to me. And I don't know. It, it gives me a, a rare feeling that I get from music. So much so that I had to, uh, you know, find out who this was by trying to put in some of the lyrics. Wow. I, I love this tune, man. In excess. Don't change. Um, if that part I read from songfacts.com is true about this being... Uh, the last song that they ever played live. Kind of weird that in the video, it feels like a send-off too, you know? Just with that last shot. Wow. I absolutely love this song. I, I don't know if I said much during this compared to other reactions that I've done, but I was absorbing it. I, you know, this, I was getting lost in this one. The, that melody is just so beautiful. The, the path that um, uh, the instruments and the bass guitar take in the verses and the path that the, the vocals take floating over it. Um, so good, man. Um, do 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 Ah, I just love that bass line. That melody is so good. Um, yeah, I, I'm still not completely sure exactly what the meaning on this is. Uh, I don't know if it was, you know, about not changing who they were as a band and who Michael was, uh, because of fame, uh, or, or if it's something else. But I mean, don't change for you. Don't change a thing for me. So you know stay who you are no matter what but then there's other things that are mentioned too that i that's what kind of threw me um see no evil in all directions uh i found a love that i had lost it was gone for too long uh execution of bitterness message received loud and clear well not for me i guess maybe i'm stupid and i'm not catching it but anyway um absolutely beautiful song uh i i like this sound from them you know it's not that's why I had no idea who this was when I heard it, and I was shocked when I found out it was in excess because uh, the songs I heard were more electronic-ish, more poppy, and I would have never imagined them sounding like this. So that was uh, a quite pleasant surprise for me. And wow, I maybe I need to check out more songs from this album. Um, but anyway, uh, if you guys are still here in this reaction, thank you for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and enjoy some good music with me. Hope you got something out of this. If you have any other songs from In Excess or anyone else you want me to check out, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.